Alright, Halos, welcome back. Hope everyone is doing well today. We are back in Skyrim again, finally, after a little bit of a break. Uh, forgive that break, I apologize. Had some personal life stuff going on for a little while there, but we're trying to get back into things either way. Um, just jumping back into Skyrim, and I wanted to note, by the way, that we do actually have Cinderian Serendipity from the, um, from the Nern Roots, the Crimson Nern Root quest giving that to, uh, I forget her name, but she's, she's a dark elf we met in, I think, the last episode, or maybe two episodes ago. Um, so that's the thing we got, basically, you get a 25% chance of creating a duplicate potion when using your alchemy skill, which is pretty cool. Um, I think what we're going to do, um, after we find a certain person uh, immediately in Windhelm here, uh, I'm just going to check him out real quick, uh, we are going to head up to the Cauldron of Winterhold and start those quests. Um, and speaking of which, we do still have our Nakreen on, uh, our helmet uh, basically and so that's going to be reducing destruction spells by 20% um, in ter terms of the cost I mean also increases our magic points by 50% and restoration spells also cost 20% less to cast and then on top of that I believe it stacks um, so the 20% plus 15% uh, less cost for destruction spells here so it's going to be a total of what 35% right um, and then I'm, I do have the fortify one handed right now with our necklace um, but I think I'm going to try, w when I'm not using magic in this quest, I mean, um, which probably won't be very much of it, but, uh, if I do end up not using any, I'll probably do some two-handed, because we need to level that up as well. Um, we are actually very close to level 46 already, which is really nice. Um, I think I just gave her a coin in the last part, but I wanted to go to Sadri's used wares real quick, um, which is where we'll find our next person. There's a, a definitely, I'm going to, like, explore all of this, basically. Oh. Actually, that's, uh, that's the Dark Brotherhood right up there. I don't want to trigger it there right now, because we're going to be doing stuff later. You know what? Let's go ahead and trigger it. Whatever. Not a big deal. Brunwolf Freewinter's house. Alright, let's go ahead and trigger this first quest here. <laughs> then it's true, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Aretino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimvar. Always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine, then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child, wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha, huh, then I'm right, I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right, I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Aretino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. All the Argonians at the docks are nice to me. Good thing, too. The father would run them off. Alright, um... Looks like she was crashing, I guess not. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to... I Edisa. try to keep Grimvar safe, but these are dangerous times. Or Edessa, probably. Did I hear you say something about a cursed child? Mm, yes. It is quite sad. A young boy, Aventus Aretino, lost his mother recently and was sent to an orphanage. But he has returned home, and people have heard strange chanting. They say it's the Black Sacrament, the ritual to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Why a little boy would want to contact a group of murderers is beyond me. But he is inviting evil into this city. Interesting. Right, then. Uh, let's go ahead and see if Grimvar has any uh, dialogue here real quick. Do you know my father? He's really important. He even talks to the Jarl sometimes. Nice. Uh, doesn't look like any dialogue related to that uh, quest right there, but who's your father? His name is Torsten Krulsey. He's really rich, because he owns a farm called Hollyfrost. He told me once that he wanted me to grow up and be a sailor, because that's where all our family names come from. <laughs> but I don't want to be a sailor or a farmer. I want to be a warrior! The strongest one ever! Good luck, man. I'm I'm after that myself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that that is the Dark Brotherhood like like little intro kind of um, there as well. And I'm pretty sure we already have the quest. Yes, I believe so. But uh, either way, where is it? It's somewhere here. Um, bu 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 uh, there we go, talk to a bit to Santino. So yeah, it's actually the sec second uh, mi miscellaneous quest that we got, and that is the Aratuna residence there as well. But um, right now we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be going to Sadri's Use Wares. We will do the um, the Dark Brotherhood's quests and all that quest line and everything, but as of right now... Oh, boy, 
What's that? Some dog log over here. Even the name Grey Dragon all I ask. With your help, we have a chance to make a better life for ourselves here. For that, I thank you. Uh, okay, I didn't really catch the entire conversation, but let's talk to him before he runs away. I thought the Grey Quarter would be a haven for my kind. I was wrong. I guess so. What's the Grey Quarter? Windhelm is divided into four quarters. The Grey Quarter is the one that's home to all the city's dark elves. If it looks to you like an impoverished slum, that's because it is. Ulfric prefers that we live in squalor. He has nothing but disdain for anyone who isn't a Nord. He tolerates us, but that's the extent of his hospitality. <clears throat> uh, by the way, if you hear me going like, <laughs> or whatever, it's because my nose is a little bit stuffy still from being sick. But uh, we're getting better, so forgive me if, if I don't, I am not able to mute every time I, I do that. Hopefully, I'll try to avoid doing it if I can, but yeah. Either way, um, ever think of moving to Morrowind? Not a day goes by that I don't think about returning to the ancestral home of my people. Still, even with the rough treatment we've had at the hands of Ulfric and his lot, I've got ties here. It's probably more trouble to pack up and leave than it is to stay. Besides, Amberus can't run the corner club on his own. All right, fair enough. It was a pleasure. Uh, Sardis you swear is perfect. Yep. Um, and there are some more cool things around here as well. I think this is um Thieves Guild markings, but I'm not sure. Uh, maybe not actually. It kind of just looks like, actually, just looks like decoration. But let's go ahead inside. Oh no, it's too late, isn't it? It's 8 p.m. Dang it. Uh, that sucks. But it's fine. We'll just we'll just wait till the morning. Um, let's go ahead and wait. 12 hours should get us to 8 a.m. or so, which is when most shops open. Unfortunately, we're wasting our our uh, speechcraft skill and all that stuff that we got from uh, giving a spare coin to someone, but it's fine. Maybe we can give us to him. You need anything? Nope. Come see me. I'm as resourceful. The best way for us to win the Nord's respect is through Take care, hard work. All right, a lot of people here. Either way, let's jump into. Oh no, they're not open yet. Okay, hold on. How about now? No, still not. All right. Huh? Let's try now. There we go. Open Sandra's squares. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Thank if you. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Sweet. Chances folly. I think that's actually a. I think oh, they're fishing map. Nice. I think that's actually a quest book, but I can't All remember. my goods are legitimate, which is more than I can say for some. All right, uh, Revan Sadri. I like to share my good fortune with those who deserve it. Uh, nothing in here is stolen? Nothing at all? Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. Uh, I could return the ring for you. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. Could place it on her beat body, Look, maybe? it's dangerous. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works sneak better. the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something. <laughs> I will make it worth your while. Okay, sweet. Plant Viola's gold ring in Viola, Viola Gordano's house. What a name. Uh, who supplies your goods? I've scraped this collection together by whatever means I could. I do some business with the trade caravans, and I've picked up a number of items from adventurers like yourself. A few intrepid souls even brought some items back from Morvenskar, the fort southwest of the city. All right, fair enough. Uh, what have you got for sale? Take a look. What I'm looking for actually is his, uh, he's supposed to be a speech trainer, but it looks like he can't actually train me in speech right now, which is kind of interesting. I wonder if I have to complete this quest first for him before he will uh, let me train. But let's see. Uh, this is my stuff, so I'd be selling it to him, which is fine. Good. It's uh, he can have that. I'll keep this for now. What else? We got? Anything else we can sell him real quick? Shovel. I don't think we need. But I think I was keeping it so that I can get uh, clay. I think. So we're not going to sell it to him right now. Um. These are all good. 
don't think there's anything we can actually sell. I mean, that we need to sell, I guess. Yeah, no, I think we're good. Uh, let me go don't ahead. Let Viola catch you in her house. All right. Let me go ahead and plant this ring real quick, and then we'll come back. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Ring so where is her house? Her house, I mean. Let's find out. I do have um, the whirlwind spirit shot, right? Equipped. Good. Don't want like to accidentally unrelenting for someone. Oh, hello, sir. Looks like you're gonna talk to me for a second. Let me head over here. I could just probably fast travel to Markarth. Haven't I discovered Markarth yet? To Markarth. Oh no, I have not. Okay. Well, we can we could discover it if we wanted to. Um, but yeah, I, I probably could just go ahead and. Ooh, I'll take the nightshade actually. I forgot there was nightshade over here. Nice. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, what was I saying? I should. Actually, I don't remember. Let's go into Viola Gort. Giordano's house. Master luck, okay. That's fine. Level up my lock picking a little bit. Oh, there we go. We found the spot. Now we just gotta figure exactly where it's gotta go into. Oh man, that was really close, okay. How about here? Nice, perfect, perfect. All right. Ooh, nice, nice looking house. Uh, steal from knapsack. Where am I planting this? Oh, right here. Don't need to go very deep, that's good. Alright, let's give her this ring. Uh, where is, there we go, perfect. There we go. Tell Revan Viola's gold ring has been planted. Good stuff. Alright, let's head back to him real quick. Whirlwind sprint fast travel. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and steal all the uh, nightshade. Unfortunately, it's gonna make the place look worse. Was that lightning? What was that? Must have been a lightning glitch or something. But yeah. Um, Good to see you again, friend. I'd be out there fighting. Oh, oh, thank you. Here, have a gold piece. Oh, it's, it's Viola. <laughs> Viola, how, however you say your name. Uh, let me go down this way. I think. <laughs> it wraps around. So that should be good. Yep. Good stuff. All right, let's head back. Oh, what? Why is he closed? What the heck? What is it? Dragons? Hello. What the heck? What is going on here? Bro, what? I find your hand in my pocket. I'm going to cut it off. Alright, we're hidden. We should be able to get through this lock, right? This is really weird. I don't understand why it's locked. But okay. Oh. Oh, wow. That's so close. <laughs> Dang it. It was down. Of course it was down. No. Bro, I was right there. No. Not that it matters, we can always get more luck picks, but ah, painful. What? How is that on it? Is it farther over than I thought? Yeah, it is. Down? Up? What do you mean up? Hold on. Bruh. This is actually a little bit frustrating. Because I was right there. About to have an aneurysm. What? We're right there. We're right there, bro. Okay. Whew. Oh my god. not supposed to be here. What do you mean? It's literally midday. Maybe you've seen mass. What? Why is this guy not open? You're not supposed to be. Here. Oh my gosh. I got a map updated. Okay. <laughs> this is stupid. Um, we'll just go somewhere else. Oh, hello. Hi, Sunflowers. Mister. 
Would you like to buy some flowers? Please? Sure. Uh, what do you have? Not much, but I hope you like them. Alright. Uh... Give her cause... something. Uh, who are you? Where are your parents? They're... They're dead. My mama died when I was little. I... I don't remember her very well. Oh, that's sad. My father was a Stormcloak soldier. One day he left and didn't come back. I wonder if this is one of the girls that you alone. couldn't adopt. I, I try to sell flowers so I can buy food. It's not much, but what else can I do? Fair. Um, I don't know if I could adopt her actually, because I don't think I have enough of the room. But maybe I could adopt you if you want. Really? Do you, do you have a place I could live? Yes, I've got a house in Whiterun. Oh, wow. Are you, are you sure? You really wouldn't mind? Uh, yes, I'm sure. Daughter. Yay! Thanks, Mr. Um, Papa. I promise I'll be the best daughter ever. <laughs> Cute. All right. Well, anyways, I uh, definitely didn't expect to do that, but let's go ahead and move along. I think I'm tired of waiting for that dude. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and un unmark that quest as well. Let's go ahead and head up to. Uh, Mirabelle Irvine in the College of Winterhold. So let's do that real fast. Wonder if we'll get uh, attacked by a dragon. Let's see. It's always a bit of a gamble. Those dragons do love us. That's for sure. Alright, hello everyone. How are you all doing? Even with the college's laid back attitude, there are still some things that are off limits. All right, sounds good. Uh, what's up, Mirabelle? Welcome to the college. Thank you. I was told to come see you. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Uh, yeah. Um, actually... I would be a little weird. Uh, sorry I'm not ready for that just yet. I see. Well, please let me know when you are. I will. Absolutely. Uh, I will be right back. I'm going to go fast travel to Solitude real quick. Um, one second. <laughs> uh, apparently there is a uh, guy called Gerald Germain in the Bard's College in Solitude. He's a master speech uh, trainer, so let's go ahead and find him real fast. Uh, I believe the Bard's College is all the way over here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Also, she gave us a couple things there. Uh, boots, we don't want, so we can just drop those. Um, let's see, what else do we have? What are we wearing around our uh, neck right now? One-handed attacks, okay. Big pocket. Destruction, destruction. Some of this stuff is stolen that we have to sell. Uh, how about... Deft hands. One handed attacks. Let's go ahead and do this, I think. Or should we do time between shouts? Let's do this for now. Um, we'll have to get another one though. Let's go ahead and take all this up night to the shade. Blue nightshade. Nightshade. Even if it is filled with fox. Even if it's filled with what? I didn't catch that last bit, sorry. Too busy collecting nightshade. Uh, anyways, I think that's all of that right for there. Oh, what's my bad. The hurry? My bad. My bad. Oh, what's up, Vittorio Vici? Some say I got my position because my cousin is the emperor. Nonsense. The man's given me nothing. He can't even be bothered to attend my wedding. <laughs> Plenty of fresh fish for you. Edvar, you and your daughter were at the execution. It's your time to Smart, yes. Please. It's been hard on those her. Who depend the girl on misses her, so her uncle. I've tried to explain that Rogvir did something bad, and that we all have to be accountable for our actions. But the child feels what she will. Fair. These are troubled times. Uh, let's talk to you. You help me. You help people, right? That's what you do. Uh, yeah, I do. Here, have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. What do you need? My master has abandoned me. Abandoned his people. And nothing I say can change his mind. 
Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Uh, how can I find you, Master? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Yarrow. No, no, such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bowl. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Uh, why don't you leap your master, the hip bone? Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of this empire shall fall into chaos. All right, then. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, anyways, uh, let us continue on to our actual quest, but I'm glad we picked that up real quick, because that is a pretty fun one, actually. <laughs> the Mind of Madness. And as you can see, it's a Daedric symbol there, so it's a Daedric quest. Anyways, um, let's head to the Bard's College, which should be here. What's up, Yorn? I wish only to graduate and enroll with the Legion. My drums will lead our troops to victory. Uh, you seem proud to be a Bard. And why wouldn't I be? We sing tales of kings, queens, and their politics, tis true. But... Do you know who really makes history? The person who writes it. All right, uh, fair enough. Anyways, let us Farewell, go to strength. find Gerard Germain. I think that's how you say it. Welcome to the Bard's College. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? Uh, I'm looking to apply to the college. Always a pleasure to meet a prospective Bard. You should be aware Hello. that many apply, but we accept very few people. When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring bard. Uh, what do you need me to do? Elisif has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, a part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. And that's where I come in? Yes. According to Giraud, our history's keeper, oh, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Respite. I need you to retrieve the poem. All right. Um... <laughs> I will t ask him all of this stuff later, but uh, right now I don't want to. I think the guy we were actually looking for it just walked outside. Uh, so yeah, we got that quest. That's nice. But let's uh, let's find him real quick. Where did he head to? Oh no! Hopefully he didn't just wander out into the city. That would not be ideal. Please take pity on an old madman. Um, where did this guy go? Wait, what's over this way? Anything? Oh, just a little roundabout thing. Okay, um, I'm gonna check in here one last time. I'm pretty sure he walked behind me to the door, but, <laughs> um, or out the door, I guess. But I, I can't be sure. I have faith that you'll return with King Olaf's verse. Uh, where did he go? Not in there. Not in here. Uh, it doesn't look like in there. Not in here. Okay, I think there's an upstairs. Maybe a downstairs as well. Solo performance is about a week away. I expect to hear your early end. Remember, it's your job to deliver these songs. To excite the crowd, draw them in. Alrighty then. Uh, I don't see him, so I think we're probably out of luck. I think he left, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but it is what it is, I guess. Hello, Bent. Yeah, I think we're... Oh, what's this? Open solitude. Like a secret door or something. Yeah, alright, unlucky. Uh, we'll find him another time. <laughs> Either way, sorry that uh, it was a little bit of a um, running around episode. That was my bad. I, I uh, kind of got unlucky, though, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Uh, that's okay, though. Not a big deal. We will find him another time, I guess. 
you to have. Youngest bard at the Bard College at your service. Uh, yeah. Either either way, uh, I do want to say real quick that apparently you can actually shoot these birds down. I didn't realize that. And uh, if you do end up shooting them down, see if I can leave this. Oh, he, he turned. If you do end up shooting them down, you can actually get their bods bodies and get the f hawk feathers that they drop. And uh, those actually work for curing disease because that is one of the effects that they have. I can leave the screen. Nope, he moved. Dang it. And yeah, if you can end up doing that, then uh, cure feather or cure disease. You don't have to waste uh, inventory space on a potion. You can just use that as it. Man, that wasn't a hit, really. Hold on, I feel like I'm getting robbed here. Um, it's a good way to get. I need to get higher up. Specific business. I'm not interested. I need to get higher up. Was oh, that nightshade? Yeah, it is. Hello. Don't mind if I do. Anyways, uh, I know I'm wasting a little bit of time, but we're fine. We're, I want to get at least one of them if I can. Should kind of show you guys that you can do it as well. And show myself, I guess. Convince myself we can do it. There we go. This guy's right here. Should be easy, right? Yeah, there we go. Where did he fall? Here he is. Got hot beak and three hawk feathers. So, what that means is actually uh, we don't need cure disease at all. These are 0.5 weight, so that's a whole one weight. Um, and these hawk feathers are each 0.1, I believe. Right? H. Where's H? There we go. Hawk feathers. Um, and that cures disease as well. So, these things are better than the, the potions. Uh, anyways, are there any more that I can grab real quick? While I'm up here, <sighs> didn't quite hit him that time. I could go up on the the walls here. I think it looks like that would make it easier. Uh, where is he gonna fall though? Out of the map, I think. Let's try. We hit him. No. Oh, we got him that time. Where'd he go? Oh no, he fell out of the out of the area. That sucks. Unlucky. <laughs> um, let's see. Are that all the hawks? Is there I any more? Oh, Good. my bad, bro. Sorry. I should just warm and spread off the face of the earth. That'd be kind of funny. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any more hawks right over here, unfortunately. But that's okay. Actually, I haven't really explored up here before. That's kind of cool. But anyways, um, let's see. Let's try to get this guy if we can. Oh, nice. We nailed him. Where did he fall? Over there. All right, let's do some parkour. See if we can find his body. <laughs> uh, it looked like he fall fell on the other side of this building, but uh, I can't be sure. Hopefully, he didn't fall on the roof. That would be unfortunate. Heard they're reforming the dog? Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort, the reef Where did he fall? Might consider joining up did he actually fall on the roof? That would suck. If he did. I can't really tell, to be honest. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I do apologize for uh, de the delay, I guess, but. um. I appreciate I you sticking around. Yeah, yeah, I know. Anyways, no, <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next um, episode as well. Thank you guys for watching. And peace.